Hey guys and welcome back to another video. That is right, you saw the title. Today we are finally on triple screens. It has taken some serious time to get here. We have been through 34 inch ultra wide, we have been to 49 inch super ultra wide, and now we have finally, finally reached the triple screen 32s. I'm super excited about it. It has been great so far. Today we're going to talk about the setup, um, the, the little bit of the time it took and also mounting the monitors and just show you guys my setup which is a DIY setup but could give you guys a little bit of an insight about how much space you need for a 32 inch setup uh, but also just how it looks, the pros and cons. We're going to talk a little bit about VR and the differences there uh, because that's a, some things that people want to know more about and show you guys some gameplay and how it looks in real life. So stick around guys, let's get into it. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. I hustle hard, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll deceive with the negativity but I just slide right by that energy Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go, go, go So that is the rig guys, damn she's looking good Looking good, it's been a while but Yeah, I've set it all up, um, it's probably about 90% finished You will notice that the monitors themselves they sort of sit a little bit inverse of each other. Um, so one monitor sits behind another one just to lower that bezel down to about half the bezel width. So it's about a six, uh, six millimeter bezel width, which actually looks pretty good in game as you'll see later on. But these monitors themselves, uh, they are AOC monitors. They are 1000 R curve, so a pretty serious curve on them. And that's the curve of the natural eye, apparently, according to Samsung. Um, but yeah, they look damn good. And they're VA panels, so not the most amazing panels. They're not IPS or OLED. But to tell you the truth, I don't really notice. There's a little bit of ghosting in games, but it's only sometimes, and it's not that often. And that can be the biggest cons of these monitors, is that they do have a bit of ghosting. But to be honest... I don't really notice it. I can't really see it. The black levels are great. The colors are good. They are HDR. HDR. Um, they're not G-Sync compatible, but I'm pretty sure they do play G-Sync um, games. And But they do have FreeSync, so that, that's good. You'll see they're tucked in nice and close there to the uh, wheelbase. You'll need to check your wheelbase to make sure that you can tuck in that tightly. But I like my monitors nice and close so I can get that big field of view. And the whole reason that I went with the 32s is mainly because I, well, why I went to triple screens is because I wanted to see my side windows and my mirrors because that's the one thing you don't get with a 49 inch monitor and the 32 by 9 aspect ratio. You still can't see, you can see your driver's mirror, but you can't see your passenger mirror. And that was something that I had a fair bit of problems with. So I had to get the triples just to get that width. But I found that, I'll go into this later, but I found that being able to see your passenger side makes you a safer driver and gives you more awareness about what the hell is going on around you, especially when you're driving hard um, and you're close quarters. It's a lifesaver. So we've got the Moser kit, obviously, there. We've got the SRP pedals. Um, and just an eBay shifter with the Moser handbrake, which is all awesome. You'll see how I've rigged it up here. This is my custom made monitor stand and it's very custom. I, you probably never see anything like this, um, but I built this with leftover stuff that I had from my previous setup. Um, 
and it was fully custom, built from the ground. It looks very scrappy. There's barely any cable management. And the way that it's bolted together is totally strange, but it works. And it actually worked really well. I was surprised at how well this actually bolted and lined up because it can be difficult to get your monitors to line up without the right uh, products. But I did this going to Bunnings, man. I went to Bunnings, which is a local hardware store in Australia, and just bought some Visa monitor mounts that were adjustable. Um, and I didn't need to buy any more aluminium profile or even any corner uh, pieces. It was I had the things left over. So um, it is possible to DIY if you've got the right equipment and if you've got the right materials, you can do it. You'll see that there's some big, heavy-duty, thick metal bracing there. Uh, that come with the come with the custom rig. It wasn't even a rig. It was just, just a custom 3D printer, and I've transformed it into a rig. And you'll see that it's a little bit jerry-rigged together, but it actually works really well, and I'm going to do a bit more reinforcement to it, um, and it's going to be even better. But, yeah, it took, it took a bit of time to get it right. I had the stand planned and everything before I even attempted it, um, and this is, gives you an, an idea of how big it is because it does take up a fair bit of room and I'll put a graph up to show you exactly the dimensions and what you'll need to make this work. Uh, but I do believe that it's like 160 centimeters wide and you'll probably need about 140 and 150 centimeters long. Uh, so be prepared for that because it is a substantial size. You can go a bit more curved on the monitors and bring them in with a bit more angle. Uh, but I've done 63.5 degrees, I believe it is, and it looks good that way. You also see that's my setup, what I'm working on right now to um, create this video. And I moved my 49-inch monitor from my sim rig and moved it over to being a work a workday machine. Because I work from home uh, and I work online every day, the 49-inch is awesome for work purposes as well. So... It looks pretty good the way it is. I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's amazing to race with. And what, what we'll show you later on is some real world footage of me driving, which could be pretty terrible because uh, I'm not used to triples. Uh, but uh, in all the different games, just to give you an indication of the field of view that you do get when you are racing. And what I've set up here is a way to switch between the triple 32s to the 49 and there's a program that I'm using called Display Magician, and it's free, um, and you can download it, and you can set up a little um, shortcut on your desktop to double-click on single screen, double-click on triple screen, and it'll actually switch between the two for you uh, rather instantly. It's pretty damn good, and it also stores game profiles for triple screen games, so you can actually just... Uh, double click on the shortcut I think it opens the game and does everything for you and it sets your screens up properly but check this out guys we're going to go into some actual gameplay of WRC to start off with AMS2, ACC maybe even some ETS uh, and show you guys what it looks like in real time and check out the WRC man WRC is not set up officially for triple screens it still doesn't have native triple screen support as we would like so this is um this is just set up with nvidia surround and it's a bit stretched on the sides i'm not gonna lie uh it doesn't look as good as some of the other proper like official sim sim titles uh but to me i don't care because you still get the immersion of triple screens and the sense of speed you still get that so it's still damn cool and it's still uh an awesome game and so much fun especially when you're flying over the mountaintops and um, just seeing the massive spaces. This game's got an awesome um, field of view into the into the distance. Uh, that's something that's been massively built on upon Dirt Rally 2. You're just in so much bigger spaces and longer rallies, which is awesome. But as you see, as you have a look at this, uh, you do get a massive field of view and you also get the roof. As well you get a fair bit of the roof so what i'm going to do with my rig eventually is enclose it um enclose the roof so you get that immersion a bit more uh, and also blacken out um underneath 
I've got some black material here that's next on the list of things to do and so it'll give you that immersion of being there and not so much sitting in your office flying around the racetrack uh, so that's going to be a pretty fun project and because I actually have two cats uh, I've got to figure out a way to make it solid enough so those guys can, they're going to climb on it uh, and I'm going to have to figure out a way to make that work and make it rock solid so uh, they do not wreck it because uh, I dummied something up with using PVC and the first thing the cats did was jump on it. So we got to fix that to start off with. Um, but yeah, you'll see like it is, look at the game man, it's so much fun, so good. You get to see everything around you, you can look out your windows. Um, once it gets proper triple screen support, which I'm hanging out for, and VR support too, uh, once we get that, um, it'll be amazing. So we're moving on to AMS2 now. And AMS2 is a great game, man. I love it. It's so much fun. If it had, when it does have better multiplayer support, even though it's good right now, um, it'll be amazing. It'll be absolutely amazing. And it's still heaps of fun in multiplayer now, but just doesn't have that safety rating system, the things that we really need. But you'll see it works really well on triples. This game was pretty easy to set up, actually. Um, it has support for triples, proper support. And... The only issue I have with this is when you go into triple screen support, you've got to double click on the center screen button twice uh, to set it up because it doesn't detect the triple screen straight away. But you got to check this out, man. Check out, you can see the cars coming beside you uh, on, your, on your driver's side window, in your mirrors. Um, that car just bashed into me like you wouldn't believe. And But how good is this? This is just an AI race. But look at this car coming up beside me, man. You don't get that on the 49. Um, you'll get it on the driver's side, but you won't see it on the passenger side at all. You will need to use a radar, which I did used to use, and I still use now because it does help. But, man, you see everything now. Everything. So much better. I can't describe to you how much better it is having triple screens over the 49-inch ultrawide. And I might also talk about VR now. Because VR in AMS2 is really good. Uh, I really enjoy VR in AMS2. And the differences. Let's talk about the differences between VR and triple screens. Now, this is my personal opinion. People get butthurt about this. But I'm just going to lay it out. VR for me is good. I really enjoy VR. VR is what got me into sim racing. Uh, when I started playing these games and I tried it first time, Logitech G920 on my desk right here where I'm sitting, uh, I tried it on normal screens and I thought this is really good. I bought a Quest 2, not for sim racing, just because I wanted to try VR and then I saw some VR racing on YouTube and I tried it sitting here, Logitech G920 VR Quest 2. And I was blown away. I was absolutely blown away. I was like, my God, I am here. I am racing. I am in the seat. And that feeling, you don't quite get that with triple screens. It's not that immersive. But the VR side of things for me, I used to get travel sickness and VR made me beat travel sickness, which is amazing. Thank you. But... VR itself um, made after about an hour and a half or so of racing and my eyes get tired my brain gets tired it's like an assault on the senses it's like racing in real life and not being ready for it not being prepared um, and it's very hard to describe but it's tiring it is really really tiring and you can get headaches um, I didn't get much of that stuff but it just was really tiring and I couldn't race for the length of time that I wanted to and enjoy it. it does it get sweaty? Yes, it does. You can put fans on you. You can get over that or I could. But what I've figured out with triple screens is that uh, you don't get that. You don't get the sweatiness. You don't get the tiredness in your eyes. Um, and I'm not sure why that is. I do wear glasses, so there could be an issue with that. Um... But also the other thing about VR, 
is that you know you've got to worry about batteries you got to worry about keeping the thing charged i used to just play with the power plugged in uh on on wi-fi and that worked fine um but yeah just there's something about the triple screens that's a lot easier to look at it's a lot easier on your eyes and with the vr you had to the field of view is not quite like the same as what we see every day so with vr you've only got about 110 field of view degree field of view so you literally have to turn your head and turn your head quite a long way to be able to see out your passenger side and in real life you don't really have to do that so much you just use your peripheral vision to see out your passenger side especially when you're racing and so what i with the triple screens it's a lot easier to do that you can just look out your peripherals and you can see without having to turn your head all the way around that might seem like a very very simple thing and not a big deal but i can tell you what when you're in the action and you've got cars side by side and you need to just get an idea of where they're at i believe it's easier in triples um, and it's just a lot less taxing on your body and on your mind and on your eyeballs but I love VR, don't get me wrong. I play a lot of games in VR and I absolutely love VR. But, and sim racing is great for that if you're just going to do it in the short term. And you might be different. You might be able to race all day in VR. Uh, but for me, I'm actually really enjoying the triple screen experience. I didn't know if I would, to be honest. I didn't know if, it, if I was wasting my money, if maybe I should just go and buy a Quest 3 and be done with it. And that still might happen, but... At the moment, I'm finding the triple screens is easy to look at. It's not as stressful. I can just jump in, sit down, race. I don't have to worry about the setup of VR, which can be tedious at times. VR can get updates, which breaks games and breaks things, and then you have to reset them all back up again. It's a lot of work, but you know VR is amazing. I love it. It's a mate. You got to try it, especially if you're a Gran Turismo person on PSVR. You got to try that it's ridiculous um, and any sim racing in VR is just amazing and Microsoft Flight Simulator in VR absolutely sick uh, but to be honest I'm enjoying triple screens right now it is amazing and you know what I would recommend triple screens for sure um, I would recommend VR as well if you don't have the space for triple screens and you can deal with the cons I just spoke about um, but yeah look triple screens cost a lot more money there's no doubt about that i mean by the time you buy a monitor stand that holds triples by the time you buy the, the three monitors um and if you want the bezel delete ability with triples man you're looking at like a two grand australian maybe at least um i did it a bit on the cheap because i have my own monitor stand and i'm also making my own bezel kits I'm not sure if I'm going to use, but yeah, uh, triple's way more expensive. VR, if you d don't have the space, I would get VR if you're happy with VR. Uh, try VR first though, highly recommended. But most of the games are quite easy to set up these days with triple screens as well. That's one thing that I was worried about is how difficult is it going to be to set up triple screens. But there's so many videos on YouTube, man. There's such a good community out there. Uh, Trauma Team Racing. Trauma Team Racing, I believe the YouTube channel is. Man, that guy has nailed uh, how to set up games on triple screens. Subscribe to him. Check out his channel. Uh, it's amazing. Um, even like Dave Cam or Booster Media or all those guys who are legends. Uh, definitely get on them to show me how to set up triple screens for some games. Um, there's so much support out there that you can find it on reddit even like it's crazy everyone's done it before now and it was very easy for me to jump in measure what i needed to measure to get it set up properly and um, i thought that was going to be more confusing than what it was but i pretty much set it up in an afternoon and now i can jump into any game and set it up and it feels pretty easy to do so triples i'm happy with triples so far it is amazing the only other thing that I think about with triples right now is if you want to be a streamer or a YouTuber or something like that, oh, yeah. 
VR can be difficult unless you got a beast mode PC. Um, and also, it just can be difficult to, to use some of the functions while you're streaming because you've got a headset on and you don't have access to keyboards and can't see things. So triples could be better in that sense. Uh, and that's one thing that I haven't done yet. I haven't jumped on streaming with triples yet. That's probably the next thing we need to do. But um, yeah, outside of that, man, super happy with triples so far. Uh, it is a really good experience. I would recommend 32s. Um, 32s were quite good height. You need to. I feel that you do want the whole windscreen height and a little bit of the roof, so you get your driver's mirror, um, your rear view mirror, and you get that nice wrap around with the curved, uh, with the thousand R curves. And yeah, you can see literally all you need. Flats do work as well. Flat monitors, and they're a little bit cheaper, um, and that you can get sometimes a little bit more distortion with the curves than you would with flat monitors and yeah like i tried to use the 27 inch uh, the 49 inch that i have with another 27 on the side and there's some software that you can use to attempt that and i tried to do it i went and bought a 27 an aoc 27 i bought it back tried to set it up i figured out two things is that one the curve wasn't enough because my 49 is an 1800R curve, just didn't give me that immersion. And then the 27 on the side, it was a little bit difficult to set up, I'm not going to lie. Now you could go two 27s and a 49 in the middle if you've got a beast mode PC. Uh, and also, you just don't get that height, that vertical height. And I didn't think that would be a big deal until I went to 32s with the extra height you do get that extra immersion. You can then jam a roof on it, which I'm going to plan on do, as I said, and that will give you like a full in-car effect to a degree uh, because you won't be able to see above your roof. You'll have the proper roof lining, uh, and it'll look cool, man. It'll look so, so immersive that I'm pretty damn excited for that, to be honest. I'm pretty damn excited. So other than that, guys, that was a lot of talking. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I look forward to seeing you guys in future videos. If you like this content, if you want more information about 32s, triple screens, how to set up games, um, I recommend going to other people's channels for that because it's technical. And I'm not that technical person. I'd rather just get the thing up and running and use other people's skills and experiences. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are legends. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Keep sim racing. Keep enjoying yourself, keep living life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.